Hello guys, I am back with another episode. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and I received this message via Facebook Messenger. This man is claiming that he is a Satanist. His story goes on like this. Hello, how are you? I was tricked by my madam boss to fall in love with her. And when she seduced me, I thought that I was going to make money because this is what a lot of people that I had consulted told me. There was this other friend of mine. After my madam boss had started seducing me, I then went and I spoke with my friend because I wanted his own advice. He is also working. He was also working as a gardener at that time before he passed away. When I went to consult with him, he told me that this was my only way. This was my golden ticket to get out of poverty. The way that my madam would seduce me is that whenever I will be working close to her bedroom, if I will be tending the flowers or doing anything, she will just open her curtain as if she is not seeing me. Then when she would open her curtain to her bedroom, I'll see that she will be naked. Sometimes she will be sleeping on the bed, playing herself. And these things, she used to do it whenever her husband will be out of the country. Her husband was someone who was a businessman. The first days when I would see that my madam will be sleeping on her bed and she'll be naked, whilst I'll be working close to her bedroom window, I would just look to the other side and pretend as if I didn't see anything. Until one day, she called me inside. She told me that there was a snake in her bedroom. I went to her bedroom. I never thought that me and her on that day, we were going to end up sleeping together. As I was busy searching for that snake, she just locked the door. Then she removed her clothes. She told me that I had to give her some pleasure because her husband was not able to satisfy her. I could not run away. I did whatever I could. I was someone who was just a poor man who was trying to survive and I am an orphan. That is why she told me that she had chosen me because I do not have any relatives and I was a fit candidate. Me and my madam, we started to sleep together whenever her husband will not be at home. Sometimes even when her husband will be at home, she would come to the cottage where I was staying because I stayed on her premises. So she would just come maybe on my lunch break. Then she would say, let us do it quickly. Then we would do it. When I calculate from the first day that they initiated me into Satanism, it is now my eighth year serving at my master's house. And sometimes I do fear, but whenever I think that I am an orphan, why am I supposed to be afraid? So that thing of me being an orphan and the way that I grew up, it just consoles me because even if I were to die today, then my name will forever be forgotten. I am someone who grew up in the village with my parents and in our family, I was the first born in the family of six. I could not even finish my education because you know that life in the village and my parents were so poor. There was a tragic thing that happened in our family. It took away my mother, my father and all of my siblings in one day and I was the only one who survived. The thing that happened is that in our village, when it is rainy season, the mushrooms, they grow, especially in the mountains. So one day, my mother and my sisters, they went into the mountains with the other villagers so that they can gather the mushrooms. They came back home. I don't know how the mix-up happened, but when my mother and my sisters returned back home with the mushroom, I think that... One of them had gathered mushrooms that were poisonous and after they had cooked the evening meal, everyone ate. But on that day, Brother Nashi, I was really having a bad stomach ache. I could not eat anything. So my mother then told me that if I was going to eat these mushrooms, it was going to upset my stomach even further. What my mother did is that she told me that I had to go to the chicken coop and get some eggs. I was really happy because my mom didn't want anyone to touch those eggs. I went there and I found two 
eggs that had been laid on that day. Then I took them and I prepared those eggs and I added a lot of salt. This was like our medication back in the village. After I had prepared those eggs, I just ate those eggs and we went to bed. When it was around 10 p.m., Brother Nashi, that is when my little brother started to complain. I thought that I had infected my little brother with this diarrhea. So I woke him up and I said, let us go to the toilet. And by going to the toilet, it's not like we had a toilet. We would just go into the nearby bushes. Then we will relieve ourselves. He started crying. So I wanted to see what was wrong with my little brother. When I walked to the place where my little brother was busy relieving himself, I didn't see any pool. It was just a lot of blood and he was crying whilst he was holding his stomach. I didn't know what was wrong with him. When the morning came, Brother Nashi, all of my family members, they had died. The people in the village tried everything. They tried milking the cattle so that they can give my family members fresh milk. But I think we were just too late. When the morning came, my father, my mother and my siblings, they had all died. After we had buried my mother, my father and my siblings, all of my father's and my mother's relatives, they returned back to their village. They just left me. There were many nights that I would just sit outside crying because it was really painful and it was scary for me at the same time looking at those fresh graves. There were many nights that I would just sleep outside because I was afraid to sleep indoors. When I was somewhere around 20 years, that is when I got the opportunity to travel to the city. And when I traveled to the city, I didn't have any money to travel back to the village. I stayed at this other taxi rink for a couple of days until one day I came across my boss and he told me that he was looking for a gardener. He went with me to his place and the moment that we entered into their yard, I saw that they were rich people, but I didn't know that there was something that was behind it. After they had accepted me to be their gardener, I found favor in the eyes of my madam boss, but I didn't know that it was all a trap. Until that day, we started to sleep together. After sleeping with my madam boss, I started to have a lot of dreams. And whenever I'll be in this dream, it will be like I'll be in a different city, a beautiful city, almost paved with gold. Everything in that city will be beautiful. But what will surprise me is that whenever I'll be in that city in my dreams, I'll be walking with my madam boss and my boss. But I will notice that this city will be underneath the water. These dreams, when they started, they would come to me at around midnight. This thing will happen as if it will be a vision. The way that it would start, I will just hear the door vibrating. Then I would find myself underneath the water in a beautiful golden city. My bosses initiated me slowly but surely when they finally initiated me into Satanism. I had to perform my first sacrifice. Since I didn't have any close family member, all of my family members had died and in my heart there was no one that I loved. You cannot lie to the Queen of Heaven that you do not love someone so dearly in your heart because she sees and she knows everything. On that day when I was successfully initiated into Satanism, my heart was laid before the Queen of Heaven and she said, Indeed, you do not love anyone, but I have seen that you favor someone. And this someone that was being spoken of, it was that guy who was working next door. The same one that I had gone to when I was looking for advice. That man, I sacrificed him, Brother Nashi. Because for me to be successfully initiated into Satanism, I had to offer a sacrifice. I had to give up someone that was in my heart. Since I was an orphan and I didn't have any woman that I was dating at that time, my friend was like a close relative to me. So I had to give him up as a sacrifice. And I offered him as a sacrifice. Before I offered him as a sacrifice, I just saw that there was a screen, something that looked like a TV screen that appeared before my eyes. Then I just pointed at him. Then he dropped down dead. 
after a couple of weeks he died i don't know what exactly happened but all that i heard is that one day he had gone into the forest what he was doing there i do not know but a snake bit him and when he was found he was already dead it was my first sacrifice in these eight years brother nashi that i have been serving the queen of heaven i have made so many sacrifices i was given the powers to kill through accidents i was given the powers to cause a lot of accidents especially when it is holiday season whenever i cause an accident and in those accidents that i cause if a person is killed or if a couple of people die in that accident what happens is that the years that the person is supposed to live on earth they will be added to me the only condition to these powers that were given to me brother nashi is that if i come across a person who knew me before my parents died then it means that on that day that i come across that person i am also going to die so what i do is that whenever i travel when i am not on one of my satanic missions i travel with a car that is fully tinted just in case and whenever i am traveling if i see someone that will be each hiking i never stop my car i do not go out shopping i have people that go out shopping for me and i pray each and every day that i do not come across any of my fathers or my mother's relatives because i do not want to die i am still young dear listeners right there was a message that i received via facebook messenger then i had to ask one of our admins to give us a translation there was this other story i will look for it in my inbox of this other lady she was saying that she has satanic powers and she targets pastors she was saying that especially in the capital of she was saying that especially in the capital city of zimbabwe she has targeted a lot of pastors and she has managed to sleep with a lot of them and whenever she sleeps with them then their glory will be taken away from them if i come across a chat i am going to ask her if she is still on this mission of sleeping with the men of god so that she can steal their glory Please let us meet again in the following episode.